you learn that everybody wants the destination, but nobody wants to travel the journey. You know, I've, I've seen so many athletes uh, will work like, work, almost kill themselves to get to the big game. All of a sudden they get to the big game and they want to become lazy. You know, it's not just making it there, you gotta sustain it now. You have to be resilient. I had uh, six brothers and sisters. There was four boys and three girls. My mom is a minister. My father worked hard. My father was very strict. He's a tough man, but he was loving. I grew up overweight, and I used to have a speech impediment. I used to stutter. I go to school, and you know, for almost four years of my life, I never went out for a recess because I was afraid. I was afraid kids were gonna make fun of me. And the last day of school in the eighth grade, uh, I decided I was gonna go out for a recess. And I got beat up, and I don't know why, but something happened. That switch flips, and no more of this. And I started going to the library, getting books, sitting in front of a mirror, reading to myself. I started working out, doing thousands. So push-ups and sit-ups, my body changed, my speech changed within a couple of months where my whole life changed. I wasn't afraid of nothing no more. When I get knocked down, I can guarantee you I'm getting up. I didn't grow up watching football. I didn't know anything about football. I used to work around the house and one of my chores was to wash dishes. And I thought, why don't I go out for football? and maybe I don't have to wash dishes anymore. That was my bright idea, which was a terrible idea because they saved the dishes for me. I always was taught, if you do anything, try to do it well. And I worked my tail off. I went to the University of Georgia, and when I won the Heisman Trophy, things just changed. My life has been great, but people know the glory, but they don't know the story. You will get knocked down. Don't think everything's gonna be okay. And I know that now. I played 15 years of pro ball, and all of a sudden uh, a doctor diagnosed me with having some mental problem. I went to a hospital myself, because you know I'm, I'm a person that if something is wrong, you gotta fix it. It was funny because I had so many uh, so-called friends, but when I was diagnosed as having a problem, not one of my friends ever called me. They asked me if I was doing okay. Hersha, how you feeling? Or so you're going to be all right. Do you want to go to a movie? Not one. But Phyllis and Dennis, Phyllis and Dennis would call me all the time. Coming from my sport into the business world, everyone just assumed because I was an athlete, oh, you don't need to work. What am I going to do, just go home and sit? I got out of that hospital and I started a, a food company. Herschel really is the epitome of coming from humble beginnings and achieving the American dream. Everything Herschel sets out to do, he's going to do 100%. It's all about integrity. He's a great example to so many. Becoming a member of the Racial Algebra Association it humbles me because I never could have dreamed of ever, ever being a part of this association. I like to thank the Washington's Dennis and Phyllis for nominating me. I want to make you guys proud.